Throughout the centuries, there were many different methods of execution that were used to kill and take the lives of those people who had been condemned to death. One of the most shocking methods used was hanging, drawing and quartering, a practice of execution that had a number of specific steps to it. The aim of this was to bring about some form of final humiliation to a person and bring some shame, as well as bring their death. Much of the point of public execution was to ensure that the public did not commit serious crimes and offences, and the monarchy and the authorities would want to strike fear into the hearts of the public. There was one method of execution used a number of times inside of the Papal States, which was incredibly brutal. It could be performed by anyone and lacked any skill at all, with someone's skull being bashed to bits with a blunt instrument. Join us today as we look at Mazzatello, one of history's most brutal execution methods. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Papal States were a number of territories that were under the rule of the Pope inside of Italy, and they existed for over a millennium, from the 8th century to the 19th century. With the Pope overseeing these lands almost as a king, it was the Catholic Church who instilled law and order inside of the land, and they would introduce a method of execution which was very bloody. Mazzatello was used for the worst crimes in society, and it would feature a public execution with a condemned defendant being brought to a scaffold. Inside of Rome, the person would be brought to a public square, and there would have been huge crowds to witness the execution. They would be brought with the guards of the Pope, and also a priest who stayed with them throughout their ordeal. The executioner would be dressed in black, would often wear a mask, and be disguised so that the crowd would not be able to identify him. As they were taking the life of someone, they would also often beg for forgiveness from the condemned before they killed them. On the platform would also be a coffin, in which the body of the victim would be placed straight into after the bloody events had taken place. Then a prayer would be said for the condemned person's soul by the priest, who would then take a step back and hand over to the executioner. Mazzatello was when an executioner would take a weapon, usually a large long-handled mallet or a poleaxe, and would simply bash the head in of the victim. They would use the mallet almost like a hammer, and would crush someone's skull, and inflict such trauma onto the head and skull that the person would die. The executioner would raise the mallet and swing the weapon through the air to gain momentum, and sometimes swung it a number of times. He then brought the mallet down onto the head of the prisoner, and then the condemned would usually be knocked out first by the first hit. This was also used as a way of slaughtering cattle in stockyards. But if the person had not been killed, then the execution would continue with the mallet, smashing the person over the head, or would then take out his knife and would slit the throat of the condemned with blood running all over the scaffold. It was described as one of the most brutal methods of execution ever devised, requiring minimal skill on the part of the executioner and superhuman acquiescence by the victim. It was also described as a method of execution created by the Papal States that, competed with and in some instances, surpassed those of other regimes for cruelty. It was very bloody and would be very painful, but there are some comparisons with it and other execution methods. What makes Mazzatello different is the fact that almost anyone could carry it out, practically hitting someone over the head with a hammer. Unlike beheading by axe, it did not require any skill at all. Often the criticism of beheading by axe was that it could go wrong, and the most skilled executioners could take the head off a victim in one quick blow. During the Tudor period, there were accounts of executions with axe that did go wrong, with several swings of the weapon needed. But Mazzatello was one of the most brutal execution methods used, with someone being bludgeoned to death with a mallet. It would have been bloody, and the crowds would probably have been shocked by what they saw. It was not a quick and easy death for someone, and it would have been shockingly performed under the jurisdiction of the Pope. The last reported use of the execution method took place in September 1806, but inside of the Papal States, the more common methods of execution used to execute criminals were hanging and beheading. But today, Mazzatella remains a forgotten but brutal execution method. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.